Let's understand the box bat wings and rate them for different styles of play. Open the box bat wings to get bat wings, a back item. Wearing the bat wings adds 5 to all attributes, 100% to combat initiative, and 50% to food drops from monsters. Adventuring in indoor, outdoor, or underwater zones may help you find a basic fruit such as oranges or limes with the bat wings, and wearing the bat wings in underground zones will give you a bonus every combat. The underground zone bonus will be one of the following. Healing your player's level in hit and mana points, giving you an item, either the broken skull, skeleton bone, loose teeth, or bat guano, or 5 Adventures of the Effect Batty for 10% combat initiative and 5 spooky damage. Wearing the bat wings also gives you access to 2 new combat skills and 1 non-combat skill, each of which can be cast up to 11 times per day. The non-combat skill Rest Upside Down heals 1,000 each of hit and mana points at no cost to you. This is absolutely fabulous for the early game when healing mana points can be difficult and still fantastic after you defeat the naughty sorcerers for maintaining buffs. The 2 new combat Combat skills can be cast at most once each per combat. Swoop Like a Bat can be cast for free to retrieve one of the monster's normal item drops if it has any, while still including the item in the pool of potential item drops on win. Note that Swoop Like a Bat cannot get conditional items, also called rare drops, such as the Spice Melange, or pickpocket only items, such as Spectral Jelly. Swoop Like a Bat can be used to get duplicates of important item drops during an ascension, such as goat cheese for the Mount McLarge Huge quest, or to get valuable items to sell after defeating the naughty sorceress. Summon Cauldron of Bats can be cast for one mana point to cause five times your character level in both physical and spooky damage to a single opponent and more if you have a group opponent. Summon Cauldron of Bats can be a great attack at a low cost when your character stats are limited, such as in the drip or when you have a poisoned effect. While that covers everything in the bat wings' description, there are even more benefits to wearing the bat wings. Up to five times per day, the bat wings can let you complete a combat without using an adventure. While they won't get used up on inherently free fights, like a tied up flaming leaflet, there are reports that it can be used on fights that would already be free because of other circumstances, such as using a shadow brick. Try not to combine wearing the bat wings with other free fight shenanigans just to be safe. Interestingly, free fights from the bat wings bypass the usual 1000 meat cap. The Bat Wings also have unique interactions with three council quests. Wearing the Bat Wings will give you a sonar and a biscuit on your first adventure in both the Guano Junction and the Bat Rat and Rat Bat Burrow, and an enchanted bean on your first adventure in the Bean Bat Chamber. This helps you quickly unlock two of the three necessary chambers to find the Boss Bat and plant the beanstalk to start the Giant Trash Quest, saving adventures on both quests. Wearing the bat wings will open up an option to leap across the orc chasm once the bridge is 5 sixths complete. Unlike the structural ember which can be used at any point in building the bridge, the bat wings only help with the final portion. Finally, the bat wings are the first Mr. Store item that specifically saves adventures at the penultimate fantasy airship during the giant trash quest. Normally you must complete at least 5 turns of delay each to encounter the necessary non-combats that find and turn in the immateria. Wearing the bat wings lowers the amount of delay to 4 each, plus adding a new option option to the random lack of an encounter non-combat to gather in immateria or turn them in so long as the necessary delay has already been met. Combining the bat wings with the usual strategies to burn delay can speed up this zone significantly. So how do the box bat wings measure up? Wearing the bat wings confers several quality of life improvements from easy mana point regeneration to faster progress on council quests. Swoop like a bat can also be used 11 times per day to get important item drops at no mana point cost. I rate the bat wings 4 out of 5 stars for quality of life. The bat Batwings' main benefits for item and meat farming are the 5 free adventures and being able to get an item from a monster 11 times per day, though mana point regeneration can be useful to maintain high cost buffs. I rate the box Batwings 3 out of 5 stars for farming. The Batwings may help with several PvP minigames, including who has eaten the most citrus fruits, highest combat initiative, and highest food drop bonus. Interestingly, Swoop Like a Bat will not help with most of the minigames that count items dropped, such as spices or the dilapidated wizard hat, since the retrieved item isn't a normal drop. I rate the bat wings 2 out of 5 stars for PvP. Swoop like a bat, free adventures, and the 3 council quest shortcuts represent a chunk of adventures saved on the speediest ascensions. I rate the box bat wings 4 out of 5 stars for speedruns. I hope this helps you decide if you should pick one up.